see where we go from there. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips nice and open, shoulders back and down, keep the core activated, and relax your arms. Crown reaching to the ceiling. Don't forget to breathe deep, letting that diaphragm drop. Fill your lungs and then exhale, completely letting the stress go. And as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch through your fingertips and up through your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind you and clasp your fingers. Lift your heart and stretch your head back as you press your hands toward the floor. And then pivot at your hips, exhale, and come on over. And let that lower back begin, getting a little bit of a stretch. Move your neck head around so that things release there. And then with your knees bent, wind your way slowly back up. And lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, spread your toes. Oh yeah, and don't forget to breathe. And on an inhalation, come on up and just take a moment feeling your body responding as we begin again. Arms are reaching at shoulder level through your fingertips. Hands to your heart, elbows just a little back, keeping that chest open. Inhale to the front, arms stretching out. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Other finger that side as you stretch into a little back bend. Exhale on over. Then again, hands up toward the ceiling, letting those shoulders work a little bit more. Move your head around, bend your knees a little bit. Keep your chin tucked in and slowly starting at the bottom of your spine, wind back to the top and stretch your light into that upper body back bend. Two breaths there, just relaxing. And then on an inhalation, come on up, release your arms. And again, just take a moment to scan, noticing how you are responding. And then arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp them, and stretch up and down. Exhale, lean over to the side, and get that lateral motion going, stretching through your ribs, push the foot you're leaning away from down, and make sure that top shoulder doesn't lean forward, so pull it back a little bit. And then inhale back to the top, keep your shoulders down, and switch your other hand to the front. And again, bring your arms near your ears, stretch up nice and straight, and lean directly over to the side without a twist. Maximize with the foot down and the hands reaching away. Feel that whole side open up a little bit more. And then again, inhale and come upright and back into mountain pose. Feel your sides a little bit more open and notice how that spine has worked as well. And we'll do our twist next. So again, arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, stretch out through the top of your head and down with the sitting bone so the spine opens up a little bit, and exhale for a twist. Breathe in, and as you exhale, stay in the twist and pivot on So see if you can keep the weight on both feet evenly as you do that, and just relax. Take a few breaths, and when you're ready to come up, stay in the twist, look toward the ceiling and lift your heart, and remember to be really gentle in your low back area as you go into that upper body back bend while you're twisting. Elbows back, chest high, relax through your neck, and then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, and switch your arms around, balance things up. Stretch again through the spine and exhale, twist in the other way. Another breath in and exhale in. Take a few breaths there, just relaxing. See if your weight is still on both feet. And then staying in your twist, work your way up and again into that upper body for a back bend, shoulder blades down, elbows back, chest high. And just gentle in the low back. And then inhale up, 
Exhale around to the center. Arms stretching out and extending mountain, but keep those shoulders, shoulder blades down. And then wind forward, pivoting, and drop in the red dog. And again, as you're in that front position, lift your sitting bones so you get a good stretch on the back of your legs, or bring your hands behind and pull in even more for a good stretch on your back. And then arms back to the front, and again, start at the bottom of your spine, and just wind slowly up, bringing your shoulders back and down, and returning to that. Take a moment just feeling all that circulation through your upper body. Arms at shoulder level. Bend your elbows, fingertips together. Keep those elbows up at shoulder level, fingertips there as well. And then we're gonna pull back a little bit, opening the heart, and then fingertips back together. And then open wide, bring those arms back as far as they want to go. And then again, bring the fingertips together. The elbows back, opening, the fingertips together. And then hands all the way back, letting those shoulders work a little further, going only as far as your shoulders want to go. And again, one more time, elbows back, and then arms back. And bringing the fingertips together, breathing back into mountain pose. And just take a moment, feeling that upper body a little bit more working for you today. Hands behind your back. Heels of the palms on your ribs and fingertips down towards your hips. And then bring your elbows toward each other. So get a good support on your lower back. Keep your hips over your ankles. And lift your heart, looking overhead, push your head back in the way. So good support on the lower back and really opening through the shoulders and the upper chest into a little bit of a back bend. Come in and breathe. Stretch your head back. Chin a little bit towards your chest. Don't crunch the back of your neck too much. Just go reach out through the base of the skull. And then chin towards your chest. Inhaling, coming back up and release. And again, just feel that upper chest a little bit more open. Take a moment to release any tension. And then let's step wide. We're going to go into a warrior position with our legs. So remember, it's going to build heat, and you want the legs as far apart as it's comfortable, but not too far apart. You don't have to ever get to the full position with that thigh parallel to the floor. We're going to start with the arms at shoulder level and stretch your fingertips up so into your star position and energize up through the top of your head, up through your fingertips, down into your feet. And then we're turning the feet first, so foot to one side, heel back, toes forward on that foot behind you. Keep your whole body facing the front, so hips don't move, shoulders don't move. And then bend your front knee right above the ankle and sink your hips straight down. So as you walk, you should be able to see your big toe. That knee should be going like towards your second toe, and you shouldn't be having it showing your little toes or all your toes. Come on, be sinking straight down. Sink into both feet even, so you've got as much weight on this back leg as the front leg. And you're in warrior two. Just breathe and relax. And then straighten your knee, turn your feet forward, and your back in star position. And release your arms just briefly. So of course, we're gonna balance the body and go the opposite direction with our warrior. Remember, keep that core activated so you're supporting your back while you're in the position and keep the shoulders and hips facing front. Arms at shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Turn your foot, but not your hips. Feel that toes forward, and again, don't pull that back hip forward. Keep it facing the direction you start. And once again, just bend your front knee, sink your hips straight down. Check the position, make sure you're not collapsing that knee in or out, but that you're keeping it tracking right above the ankle so the bones still support you. Take a breath, just relax your shoulders down, out through the fingertips, up through the crown. And then straighten your knee, turn your feet forward, find your star position. 
and release back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, feeling your body, noticing how it is. So now that you know how you want to feel when you get into warrior two, we're going to get into it from a different direction. So come to the end of your mat. Bring your hands to prayer position right in front of your heart. And just mat and pose, looking at your hands. Inhale, bringing them all the way toward the ceiling. Come into a little back bend. So bring your thumbs back, lifting your heart. Then stretching your head back. And then exhaling, follow your hands all the way down. Pivot at your hips, drop into rag dog. Just hang for a moment. Breathe, relaxing. Slide your hands up under your knees into that halfway up position. So knees straight, elbows straight, and get your back parallel to the floorish and straight. And then exhale and bring your arms down. And again, hands together, coming all the way to your heart and back into mountain pose. Put your hands on your hips. We're going to take a step back with the right foot. So nice big step back so that you can get into your warrior position. As you do that, notice that that back foot angles out a little bit, just correctly so that your knee and toes are going the same direction. And that front leg is still going the direction that it started. So your whole hips are facing the front. We're going to come into warrior two. So bend your knee into warrior one with the hips to the front. And then bring your front arm up and your back arm back. And you're into warrior two with your body facing the side. And then we're going to do a little bit of a warrior one, warrior two combination. So bring your back arm forward so that it's next to the front arm. And then bend your elbow and pull it back right at shoulder level like we did before, coming into warrior two. And then again, reach forward, lifting your whole body around. Make sure that knee is still above your ankle. Weight into the back foot as well. And again, pull back with the elbow. It's like you're shooting a bow because this is a warrior pose. And again, coming back into that front position. And once more, elbow back, turning into warrior two. And then this time, we're going to shift that arrow and step forward and back into mountain pose. So take a moment. So we work this midsection a little bit, shoulders and arms a little bit. And of course, you have to balance the body and do the other side. So I'm just going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing once again. So starting in mountain pose at the end of your mat, hands at your heart. Take a moment to breathe and look at your hands as you bring them up toward the ceiling. And again, come into a little upper body back and lift in your heart, bringing those thumbs back as you look overhead. Exhaling, following the hands all the way toward your heart, pivoting at your hips, dropping into red, just hanging. And again, slide into that halfway up stretch, lengthen. Exhale back down and hands together, returning to standing position, mountain pose with your hands at your side. Hands to your hips. And we're stepping the left foot this time with that big step back for our warrior position for our legs. So remember, this back hip is still sort of facing the front as we come bending the knee into warrior one. And again, just allow yourself to bring your arms into your warrior two position. Spread your toes, get the weight into both feet evenly and face to the side. And then bring that back arm around and to the front and bend your elbow, pivoting into warrior two and sliding it forward into warrior one. Again, back, pivoting your whole upper body. Those legs never move. You've got the weight in both feet at the same time. And again, bring that arm back around to the front. Shoulder, shoulder blades are down. Inhale, pull back. And 
shoot your arrow coming into extended mountain and then back into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling a little bit more energized through that midsection, all that energy from your warrior position. Take a moment, notice the sides as well, a little bit more work today. And then in mountain pose, just standing feet hip width apart again. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, looking overhead. Swan diving forward, pivot at your hips. Exhale, and slide down. Come into your halfway up position. And again, exhale, and relax. Knees bent, palms together. Ribs go up, swing bones down as you wind back slowly up. And again, lifting your hands, looking overhead. Another little upper body back boom. And once more to your heart. At the moment, feeling your whole spine a little bit more energized. And then releasing your arms, take a moment there and breathe. Mountain pose, just feel your sides, feel your lower back. And then stretching up, come on over and all the way to the floor, transitioning into child's pose. Here's the floor work. So hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead to the floor, just to the moment in your life. And as you inhale, go ahead up and into stack position to start with. The feet out, pressing out through the bottoms of your feet, your toes pulling back, knees straight up, toes up toward the ceiling, sitting bones a little bit behind you so that you get that nice positioning on the floor. Shoulders right above your hips, more active, supporting that lower back. We're going to separate our legs. Lift up and push those sitting bones a little further back. And again, settle down into your seated position. So as wide as it's comfortable for you, if it feels wrong in the hips, bring your legs closer together. Relax through that inner thigh. Press out through the bottoms of your feet, up through the crown. Core still active and supporting you. I'm going to bring the hands next to you on the floor. Bring them out to shoulder level. Stretch. Turn your palms up and bring your hands right above your shoulders. Put the shoulder blades still down. And then sink your hands to your shoulders and down into your sitting bones. And reach way up. And then exhale and sink. Now get a good stretch through your spine because we're going to twist. And as you exhale, turn to one foot and bring your hands back down to your shoulders. Stretch up one more time. And this time, pivot at your hips. Reach for your foot or your leg. And bring your chest and chin towards your knee. Keep those sitting bones as connected as you can. Keep those knees up toward the ceiling and toes up toward the ceiling on both legs. And just lean over that front leg as much as you can. We're not bending. We don't want the forehead going toward the knee. We want the spine nice and straight. Give yourself a good stretch. Maybe even lift your head a little bit. And then pivot a little deeper at that hip joint and chest and chin again a little further toward the leg. You can have your hands on the leg, foot, floor, wherever it's comfortable. And then whichever leg you're turning toward, bring that elbow inside the knee and hold your ankle or your foot. And bring the other arm out to the side. So just kind of like we did in Warrior, we're opening to the side now. And then bring the arm up and over near your ear and reach for your toes as you look out through that arm and up toward the ceiling. So a little twist to your upper body as you're going into that position. So this back hip can be a little bit up off the floor so your whole body can turn and face forward or a little further up toward the ceiling if you're really flexible. Reach out through the hand, out through the top of your head. You can kind of leverage with this elbow in the knee if you like the twist and you want to turn a little deeper. And then bring your arm up, pull yourself back up, turning back to the center, and release your arms. Feel what's working and know that, of course, we've got to balance the body to the other side. So, yeah, get everything positioned correctly to start. Hands next to you, 
and then arms out at shoulder level. Turn the palms up, bring your arms over your shoulders, stretch way up, and then exhale, pull way down into your sitting bones, and then stretch your whole spine apart, inhaling, coming up, exhale and sink. And one more inhale, stretch, and exhale, turning to the foot on the other side as you bring your hands down. Stretch up one more time, get a good reach, and exhale for that foot. Chest and chin coming toward your knee, hands toward your foot or leg or on the floor. So again, this back hip, the sit down might be a little bit up as you do that, do that turn to the leg. And again, straighten your spine, stretch it out. Exhale, pivot, bring your chest, chin toward the knee a little bit further. And then whichever knee you're on, bring that arm inside the knee, hold the ankle or the foot, and bring the other arm out to the side, turning your body to the foot. And as you bring that arm up next to your ear, reach this whole side long and straight, and reach for your toes. So again, you're turning a little bit in a twist. Your head is going toward your toes. Your toes on both legs pulling back. And you're coming into that twisty position. We're looking to the front or further up toward the ceiling under that one. So you may reach your toes, you may not. That's okay. Just do what's right for your body. Turn as much into the twist as you like, not any further. Take a breath, reach your head out, sink into the sitting bones, maybe a little bit more, but don't worry if this one is up in the back. And then leading with that hand, pivot your body back up, turning straight to the front, stretch it out, and release your arms. Take a moment there, feel your body. And then you can either leave your legs where they are, or you can bring them back together into staff position. We're going to do a little bit more with those arms and shoulders. So again, hands next to you, palm, palms down at your sides. And then again, arms at shoulder level. So this time, bring your thumbs inside your palms and wrap your fingers just gently around. And then turn one fist up and leave the other one down. Keep reaching out through your fists and up through the crown, shoulder blades down, core active, supporting your spine. And then we're going to rotate the arms. So the fist that was up goes down, and the one that was down goes up. And just keep rotating, one up and one down. And just feel those wrists and lower arms doing a little bit of work. And then think about bringing your elbows into the rotation. And after a few times doing that part, bring your whole upper arm in a little bit more. So your whole arms are moving, one up and one down at the time. Just keep reaching your head up, keep that core working to support you. And then shoulders, really get the shoulders involved too. Moving the shoulders up and forward as the hand rotates to the floor and then back into position. And then really get all the way into the middle of your spine as you're doing that. Working those arms and shoulders completely all the way from one end to the other and meeting there in the middle with them going in the opposite directions. And you can emphasize those shoulders as much or as little as you'd like. Feeling that whole upper back working as well as the arms. And then slowly release that shoulder work. And then slowly coming back to just the elbows and lower. And then finally just to the fists. And stopping, bring the hands out, open those fingers, stretch them out. And shake your arms out and your hands and wrists and everything. And down. Feel all the circulation through your arms and shoulders. Breathe. And then if your arms, legs are still out in the right hand position, bend your knees, bring the legs in and into staff position. 
Take a moment and breathe, just finding your body again, noticing what's still energized through that upper body. Use your core for support. And we're going to go all the way down onto our mat. Getting ready for our final twist before our relaxation. Kind of position yourself. Sitting down slightly toward your heels, press your back down, core active. Arms out of two positions straight out from your shoulders. Let's leave them palms up today. And then sitting bends toward your heels, bend your knees slightly, bend your right leg, put the foot on top of your left thigh. I'm going to roll all the way over to the side, knee to the floor, hands together on the floor, head on the floor, put a pillow under you if you need it for your neck support. And then hold your left hand on your right knee and bring your right arm up to the ceiling, right above your shoulder. The more you hold your knee on the floor, the more your lower back gets in the twist, be gentle if you need to. And then lower the back of your hand toward the floor behind you. It may not get there if your middle back is tight, that's okay. And just turn your head to look, neck and shoulder twist as you breathe and relax. So knee down. Lower back twist, hand toward the floor, middle back twist, head turning, upper back twist. Do what's right for your body. Personal practice always. Only go as far as you need to. Take a breath. Exhale, tension, release those ligaments along the back. And just allow your twist to happen again. Come on, you're ready to release that twist. Let go of your knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot into the other one, and sink into that surface beneath you. Just noticing the twist energy through your spine, through your torso, up into your head, getting us ready for our meditative relaxation. However, we need to balance with that twist, so let's do the other side. Sitting so runs towards your heels, bend your knees a little, your left leg bending at the knee. Foot onto the right side. We're going this time all the way to the right side. So bring that knee down, get it on the floor, or you can have a pillow if you don't want it all the way down. And again, head down, make sure if you need a pillow for support on your neck, you can do that. And let's just, the left arm comes above your shoulder, and we're looking at that. Hold the knee down as much as you want, and allow that pain to come toward the floor behind you. So the more your shoulder goes toward the floor, the more your middle back is in the twist, the more this knee is down, the lower back twist, and the more you turn your head, neck area twist. So do what's right for your body. Never twist in a way that's uncomfortable or wrong or that your doctor or medical people tell you not to do. So just breathe and relax in your twist. Maximize or minimize. Remember, do your twist. Always your yoga practice. Focus in large, feel what's going on. Exhaling, releasing deeper if you love it. And of course, holding it as long or as not long as you want. And then when you're ready to release again, roll onto your back, slide that foot near the other one, coming into your corpse position momentarily, getting ready to relax. So once again, just take a moment to scan through your body. Lots of shoulder work today, so just let those shoulders release and relax down toward the floor. Lots of torso work as well, so breathe deep. Exhale tension. Let your whole middle upper body just relax. Jaw. Release your legs. Feet up toward the ceiling or slightly out to the side, but not too far. And then just relax, let your body grow heavy. Sink deep into that earth support beneath you and then let your body go. Just breathing deep, exhaling tension. Letting everything release any tightness that comes during your practice or just through using your body. Scan, medicine, where the tightness is. Breathe into that area. Let it go. 
stop and then sit. And just let the earth support you, fully and completely your body, just growing heavier, sinking deeper into the earth and let it go. As your body relaxes more and more, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. As you release those thoughts, other thoughts will come to your mind. Remember that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice what you pay attention to. At this moment, you can let those thoughts just disappear as easily as you want, floating away unnoticed. Thoughts flowing in and flowing out as easily as you want. Just let your body sink and your mind float more easily. And just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward. Draw that awareness to the peace within. Fill your body with the peace. Replace those thoughts with peace. And just take a few moments being peace. And of course, if you have time to relax even longer today, take your time to relax as long as you have the time. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body, with your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Move your legs, your feet, your arms, your hands. Breathe more deeply and give yourself a good stretch whenever you're ready for it. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation today, sitting bones towards your heels, bending your knees, draw those heels in towards your hips, and then your knees up towards your heart as far as they want to go. Have your arms around, whatever feels good. And give yourself that appreciative yoga hug today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, just bring your feet over to the floor and roll to the side, sitting back up, getting ready. Oh, whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining.